Good to know. Okay. So maybe that, that leads us to our next question. Dr. Palacy, um, how are stones actually diagnosed? What, how, do, how would someone present to you and how would you diagnose that problem as a kidney stone? Um, so great question. And, and uh, again, wanted to just reiterate that uh, the, I, my job or what I do is more of the surgical side, while Dr. Goldfarb is more of the medical side. And honestly, I can't do my job without someone like Dr. Goldfarb and, and, and uh, vice versa. You know, we, we sort of have a, have a very symbiotic relationship when it comes to kidney stones, uh, because when the kidney stones show up, generally they're, they're not showing up uh, with an invitation. They're showing up sort of the worst time, uh, the worst period you can think of. Uh, you're on a plane, you're on vacation, uh, you're at a party. Uh, because this is exactly when the kidney stones like to uh, like to lock in the door, and, and so uh, this is this is what we always always worry about. Um, and those uh, patients who have been fortunate enough to, to have a kidney stone on a regular basis, and it sounds like Mr. Aronson over there has had twelve already, and I, I don't envy that whatsoever. And it can be really uh, really difficult, uh, you know, we, we, for males we call it the male childbirth, since we really don't get to experience what uh, women go through. But for men, certainly male childbirth, uh, if you talk about a kidney stone, probably is an accurate term for that. Um, so obviously the first presentation is, is, is usually pain. It can be also coupled with uh, hematuria or blood in the urine. Um, sometimes a, even a pressure or a dull ache can start. Um, some, sometimes even a urinary tract infection can be one of the first signs of getting a kidney stone. Um, in general, the, the Cadillac of all tests that we use uh, is still a, is a CAT scan, a CT scan. Uh, we are able to diagnose vast majority of stones. There are a small, small portion of stones that can't be seen on CAT scans, but for the most part, pretty much all kidney stones can be, can be diagnosed that way. Um, ultrasound can be used. MRI, which is not a great test for kidney stones, can also sometimes pick up some of the side effects of a kidney stone, whether it's swelling or inflammation. Um, but th th those are usually the, the, the most common ways to do that. Traditionally, a, an x-ray, a KUV x-ray, if there's enough, uh, there's enough calcium in the stone, you can actually see the stone on just a regular uh, x-ray film. Um, and so, you know, with that information, we'll then, uh, we'll then determine whether or not a patient actually needs surgery, or we can, we can uh, monitor the patient, sort of do what's called active surveillance, where we, where we have them hydrate, take uh, uh, medications, uh, and, uh, and also maybe even some medications to dissolve the stone. Uh, Dr. Goldfarb uh, is, is, would be sort of uh, following up a lot of the care for these types of patients as well, making sure we, we adjust their diets, making sure that we uh, make sure their, their blood pressures are okay, their body weight uh, is in check, that they get enough exercise. And so again, you know, depending on the situation, uh, it would de determine what the next step is.